In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add 10K MRR to your SaaS or subscription business. In fact, I used this exact same strategy a couple months ago and we grew Exploding Topics MRR by 8.6% in a month. The secret is running product launches to your existing email list. So if you're a SaaS company, you probably have an email list of some kind. Maybe it's free trials. Maybe it's people that signed up and canceled. Maybe it's a newsletter. Maybe it's all three. Either way, you probably have an email list that you can launch something to. Now, when I say launch something, I don't mean just sending out an announcement. We added this new feature, you should sign up. Launching successfully is a specific formula that I'm gonna walk you through in this video. In fact, I basically took this same formula from Backlinko and applied it to SaaS, and it works actually even better with SaaS than it did with online courses. So why are product launches so effective in SaaS? Well, first of all, no one's doing them. So you instantly stand out. Most people, when they market their SaaS, they put up a landing page, they might create some blog content, they might run Facebook ads. That's pretty much all they're doing. No one's actually monetizing their email list or extracting as much value out of their email list as possible in SaaS. The most email marketing people in SaaS typically do is like an onboarding sequence. Then you never send an email again, which is a huge mistake. In, in my experience, SaaS MRR, can grow on its own if you just have a site up and you get traffic to it and you have a nice little funnel, but it can grow a lot faster if you're doing strategic launches to your list. The other reason it works is that you're launching with some sort of scarcity attached to it. So if you send out an email to your email list and you're just saying, hey, we launched this new feature, it helps so-and-so do something, that can actually help. That could push some people off the fence to say, wow, that's an interesting new feature, I wanna try it. But you're gonna get 10 to 20 times more people signing up if you do the same thing and add a little bit of scarcity to the offer. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact sequence that we recently used to grow our MRR by 8.6% and other launches that we've done as well. So let's get right into the first step, which is the pre-launch. So the pre-launch is just like it sounds. It's sort of the messaging that you send out before launch day. So this will depend a little bit on what you're launching, but to give you an example of how mundane something can be and can still support a launch, we recently launched a new tier to our pricing. That was literally it. Before we had two pricing tiers and now we added a third and we ran a whole launch based on that. So the pre-launch sequence is usually pretty simple. Now, when you're running online course launches, the pre-launch is really important. You need to build up all this anticipation and agitate with the problem and all that stuff. I don't think it's SaaS that makes as much sense. So with our launches, our pre-launch is basically a little message in our weekly newsletter where we say, we have this thing coming out, whether it's a new and improved version of the software or a new plan or whatever. So with the new plan launch that we did a couple months ago, it literally said we have a new plan launching uh, tomorrow. So the next message is the launch itself. And that's where you announce the new thing that's coming out, whether it's a whole new product, a new feature. In our case of this launch, it was a new plan. And you don't just wanna say it's here. You kinda wanna give the backstory of why you developed it. In the case of a new feature, you might say, a lot of people are using our software for something and we realized we needed a dedicated feature just for that. So we built that out and we worked with customers. Make it sound like a big deal. Like you guys worked a lot on this. You spent months on this feature and now it's finally live. That little story can make a big difference in terms of getting people's attention. When we launched a new plan, I didn't just say, we have a new plan. I said, after months of beta testing, because we did test this plan with our enterprise customers to see what features they use most, what features they needed most. So I made sure to include the fact that even with a plan, which is usually just a simple thing that you set up, there was work behind it. The next part of your launch that's really important is the scarcity element. And this can be a bunch of different things. The most obvious one is a discount. I am not a fan of discounting. I'll probably create a video on that Someday. But if you wanted to just create the most straightforward launch you could, we're launching this feature and to celebrate, you get 25% off for the first year, something like that. I'm not a big fan of discounts, so we try to use other things. So for example, when we launched our business plan, whether or not we're doing a launch, once we added the business plan, we're gonna give all our existing customers a free upgrade to the next highest plan. We realized that we could turn it into a launch. Instead of just doing that silently, we can make a big deal out of it and say, we're gonna upgrade all our existing customers. And if you sign up now, you'll be an existing customer and you can get the free upgrade. So that was our level of scarcity. In the past, when we've increased pricing, naturally, instead of just increasing it silently, we turn it into a launch. This is your last chance to get in at this pricing. In other cases, we've given away free bonuses. We've had some analysts create a report around different industries and say, you get all these reports if you sign up by such and such a time. The important thing isn't just to say, we have this feature and you should check it out. It's 
adding some sort of scarcity to the offer. And again, in SaaS, no one is doing this, so it really is easy to stand out. And because it hasn't been saturated, it's still super effective. Like I said earlier in the video, most people in SaaS aren't really using email marketing much at all. And if they are, it's basically an onboarding sequence and maybe like a Black Friday discount. The key is really this level of scarcity that you can tie in with something new. It's not just a random Labor Day sale, Halloween sale, Black Friday. There's a narrative to it. There's a reasoning behind it. So in the case of the business plan that we added, it was the scarcity is we're gonna upgrade everybody. And if you get in by this date, you can be the everybody. Or we're about to double prices next week. If you get in now, you can stay at our current pricing. Or we just created all of these reports. And if you want them, sign up before such and such a date. So the next message in the sequence is the first reminder. So to recap, you had a little bit of pre-launch where you just gave a bit of detail about what's coming out. You announced it and mentioned the scarcity. The next step is to go into a little bit more detail about the thing that you're launching. So if it's a feature, go into how it works in a little bit more detail. The reason you don't wanna do that in the first message is because the first message is just about the announcement. Like it's here, you probably have a lot more information on your landing page anyway. The idea is just to say it's launched, it's here, and here's the scarcity element. The second message if they haven't signed up already is more about the thing itself. In the case of our business plan, we really went into detail about what are existing plans included and what this business plan adds. And again, this is the plan. This is the not necessarily the most exciting thing, but we made it interesting by really contrasting what we had before with what we have now and made it seem like this huge revolutionary thing that we're adding to our offering. Now, the new plan is cool. It is helpful, but it's really just a new plan. But we really made it sound like this totally new thing that wasn't available before, before you could only only get this, now you can get all that stuff and more, which made it a little bit more interesting and exciting. And then again, you wanna reiterate your scarcity at the end of the message. So the bulk of this message should be about the thing you're launching in detail. The end should be again, reminding people of the scarcity, but it's still a bit of a soft sell. The last message that you send is really putting the scarcity first. So at this point, They've seen the pre-launch, they've seen the launch, they've seen the reminder, and now the second reminder is really all about the scarcity. There's not much else to say probably about the thing you're launching, whether it's a feature, whether it's a discount, whether it's bonuses, a new plan, whatever you're launching. The key is really here to dial up the scarcity. Again, you don't wanna be spammy, it's not about pushing people or anything, it's just making sure people know that the scarcity event is happening, I should say. So if the discount's ending in six hours, that should be your lead-in. If the new plan is launching in six hours and you get in now, you can get a free update grade, the message can be really almost only that. Like, here's a scarcity, here's why you should sign up. And then I usually have some message along the lines of, this is the last message we're gonna send about this launch. We're gonna go back to our regularly scheduled program next week. That way people aren't hitting spam and unsubscribing. In fact, because our messages are pretty to the point and not spammy, we still get like a 50% open rate on our launch messages and a very low unsubscribe rate. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new about product launches for SaaS. Now I'd like to hear from you. Do you run a SaaS company or subscription company? Have you ever done launches like this? If so, let me know. I'd love to hear what's working for you and I'll see you in the next video.